Hello everybody, it's me Ali. Now we continue our video series on two-dimensional rotating body. So after we have these uh, two mesh, we can now create the mesh on the open form. So let's do this. Go on to the folder. Okay, now we start with the rotor region first. Now do the before we do that we need to check whether we have the old volumes or not or oh, there is no polymers okay so ideas and rotor okay let's check the mesh now everything is good and okay we can go to the starter region do the list first to make sure everything correct okay now do the ideas unp to form with the stator mesh okay good now let's check the mesh everything is good i think okay go back to the here yeah, the cylinder two dimensional plate folder template folder now do the merge mesh uh, command here uh, with the option of override and the first region, the region 0 will be stator the region 1 will be rotor so let's do this change the directory to the stator and let's check the result so this is the initial result as you can see we have merged two meshes here um, as you can see we have this stator uh, region and also the rotor region of the mesh so it's now complete the mesh merging now we need to prepare the boundary condition and also the initial condition of the problem as well as the MRF. We use the multiple multi reference frame uh, method in the open form. So let's do this. I've prepared everything here. As you can see, the first thing is to modify. Oh, before we do modify that, we need to check the mess. Okay. Now it will produce the set folder. Now do the set set uh, command here. Type on help. We will do this command cell zone set. So uh, we will create the rotor zone and let's do this cell zone set rotor. It's new. It's not the old one. Set to cell zone the zone we want to rename or we want to yeah rename it as rotor zone will be the region one remember the region one is the rotor region in the merge uh, mesh uh, command so let's do this or if you confuse about uh, which region should we use as you can see here uh, we have um what is it actually in the check mesh region we have the region 0 and region 1 region 1 is the smaller one and region 0 is the big one as you can see in the paraform we have uh, the region 0 which is the bigger one is the stator actually so the rotor will be the rotor will be the region 1 okay it is now correct and go on the quit and after that, um, we need to do something about the topo set dig here. So let's name it. Uh, we don't have the rotated actually. Stator. And also this one, we don't need this. Okay. Now I'll do the topo set. Okay, good. And after that, we can go to this boundary. Okay, here the boundary. So the AMI stator, the uh, let's start with the 
the easy patch actually empty the empty patch this is the wall and also this is the wall this is the empty okay we have AMI left 2 ml 2 ml 2 m ami patches here so what type of the uh, patch we should use this is the cyclic ami cyclic ami and we have additional uh, option here actually so match tolerance will be 0 0.00001 okay now the transform no ordering and the next power patch will be mi rotor here as you can see the next power patch of the mi starter is the mi rotor right okay and the empty starter here it's correct already and go on with this cyclic mi now match tolerance 0 0.0001 now the transform no ordering and neighbor patch and now this is the AMI stator okay good if it's with the boundary and now we go to the zero folder here start with changing this u so we have everything prepared here actually the empty rotated no we don't have rotated right the rotated is basically their um, I think this is their stator stator okay and delete this uh, the rotated here the rotated because the name of the patch we have created is not, can uh, doesn't include the rotated here. Okay, good. Now go on to this uh, pressure. Do the same. Delete this one. Stator and the stator again remove this one move rotate it remove rotate it good now we have this and what else go on to the new T okay change this one Stator Stator Delete Delete this one Delete this one Delete this one Okay, good Now go on to the K In this case, we use the K Epsilon True Balance model Because I found that the laminar in the Epon form if you compare to the result of the answers, it's not uh, really good. So I think we need better. We use the K epsilon here. So okay, stator. Stator, and this is rotated. Remove this. Remove. And go on to the epsilon. So it's now finished. Everything is now finished, I think. And we can go to the constant folder, check the MRF properties here. So the cell zone we want to 
the the zone that is moving or rotating is the rotor zone and it rotates on y axis with the omega of 1 radian per second okay and also this turbulent and transport properties as you can see the transport properties we use the exactly the same value as we have in in the website here we use the kinematic viscosity of 0 0.0002 as you can see here fortunately because we use the density of 1 so the, the viscosity the kinematic viscosity value will be the same as the dynamic viscosity and okay the turbulence properties we use the k epsilon here turn on the turbulent and plane coefficient okay but i think everything is now complete and we can go to the system folder go on to the control dictionary we change it into 50,000 and let's change it into 500 and I think it's finished if you want to include several function you can put you can put it here and don't forget to put the the file as well so in this case I don't need to do the additional calculation just yes just a simple calculation here so I think it's now complete and oh before we do that we need to check the here we use the simple form okay so let's do the simulation simple form the block dot sim form so we have this problem and I found the, uh, the solution about this actually so we can check to the boundary we have some typo yes it must be cyclic okay <laughs> okay because we have this cyclic remember okay so I think we can do the simulation then okay now the simulation is running and I think it's all for this video and in the next video we will do this some post processing and data data processing of the of the two dimensional rotating body here so see you on the next video bye